Hello, uh, my name is Peter Burns. Thanks for being here. Thanks for finding me. Thanks for joining in with these reflections, um, just casual ideas uh, that are based on scripture, but I hope cause us to reflect upon scripture for ourselves. I don't uh, claim with my tongue to be able to come up with any grand ideas or thoughts but just to encourage each of us to be reflecting on what is God saying to me? What is God saying to you uh, during these times together? So yesterday we started James uh, chapter 3 and verse 5 and I stopped halfway through because I want to continue the rest of verse 5 and into, into verse 6 uh, today. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire. A world of evil among the parts of the, bo the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. That sounds very harsh, doesn't it? Very severe. But uh, think about it. How often do we hear about forest fires, particularly in dry summers, if only we could get into that right now. But uh, how often forest fires are started by a tiny spark, just one match, one spark, or a discarded cigarette end or something like that, and soon hundreds of acres of forest can be destroyed. Well, James is, is being really very careful here to explain that the tongue can be just as difficult, just as harsh, just as much an issue as that sort of thing. The tongue, a, a, a small word, a seemingly small action by our mouths, can lead into huge devastation, the like of which a forest fire illustrates. Uh, and James talks about it, our tongue corrupting the whole body, set the whole course of one's life on fire. If we're not very careful and uh, very cautious about what we say and how we say it, the attitude with which we speak as well as the language that we use. If we're not very careful, the whole course of our life can be uh, taken off course because of something that we've said or because of the way that it's been heard by other people. And here's why, for these last few verses now and over the last week we've been looking at, James is very careful uh, warning about using our tongues wisely, speaking wisely, listening wisely, and uh, being very, very cautious about what we say and how we say it. If we're not cautious, if we're flippant about what we say, if we're arrogant about the way in which we speak to other people, well, there's a danger that the whole course of our life, and in fact, the course of their life, may be taken in a completely different direction from that which God has intended. The reason we're reflecting on scripture is because we believe in the power of Jesus Christ as our saviour and the, this, these words, this Bible it is God's word so wonderfully given to us uh, in order to help us to live as followers of Jesus. Here is a way that's very important to James of how we are to live as followers of Jesus. We're to be careful what we say and we're to be careful how we say it. Because the alternative, well, leads potentially to hell. Let's pray. Uh, Lord God, please uh, help us to take these warnings seriously. Um, yeah, help us to listen to you, to, to listen before we speak and to know how we can speak in a way that acknowledges you, praises you, that honours you in the ways that we live. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. I'll be back again tomorrow and I uh, hope you can join me. Take care.